Turning now to the forecast, a fantastic Friday night in Center City. City Hall there in red in honor of the Phillies. Clear with warmer temperatures. This mild weather will be hanging on throughout the weekend. Thankfully, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly in our next weather sphere. Loving this weekend, Siafa. Right. It's a great one to be outside. Really nice stuff. In fact, let me show you what it's looking like for the game. I showed you this earlier. 77 for that first pitch tomorrow. Normal high is in the low 70s, so we're not talking record territory, but with the sunshine, the dry air, the fairly light winds up to about 10 miles per hour, I'm sure you're going to love it too. 75 degrees on Sunday, both of those first pitches, as you know, at 408. Let's talk about our next weather maker. I'm going to fast forward this, you know, advance it 48 hours from now. So this is what it looks like at 11 o'clock on Sunday night. Andrew Kozak, of course, he's in as he is in the weekend. He's going to be tracking some showers that are working on into our western counties. And it's one of those situations that we're dry all weekend long. And then Sunday night, overnight, and into Monday morning, pretty much while we're all sleeping, that's when the weather maker comes through. It's not a big deal. We're not talking severe. We're not talking flooding, but overnight a few stray showers and then you wake up early Monday morning ready to kick your week back off and the system's gone. And then by the time we get to mid to late morning, the clouds are gone. Northerly winds and that is going to make a big difference because it really is our first cold front that's going to be ushering in some pretty chilly temperatures. So check this out. I want to get right to the seven day forecast because it will make a big difference as we bring you kind of from the end of the forecast to now. So the weekend, there's your 70s. You got the 79, 77 for your temperatures this weekend. 73 on Monday with just a stray shower in the morning before it moves on by. And then look at these numbers here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, these temperatures are into the 60s. And when you're talking about a high temperature with sunshine, like Thursday at 64 degrees, you know your low temperatures are going to be really chilly, and that's what I want to focus on right now. Earlier, check this out. I said we're going to have something this week that we haven't had yet. Well, here's our forecast low temperatures. Those were the highs. Here's the lows. Tomorrow morning, we're at 61 degrees. That's going to be fairly mild. Then by Sunday morning, 52. The coolest we've been, by the way, so far this season is 54. That was back on the 9th of September, so it's been a while. We're going to feel that Sunday morning. Then Monday with those clouds that roll through, that bounces up. But watch this by Wednesday and Thursday we are into the 40s. So let's talk about that. It's that time of year. Things start changing. The average first occurrence of the 40s for us in Philly is September 30th. So we're past that and we haven't had anything close to it. Last year we did the first one on October 8th. Year before that was September 24th. In 2021 we did not have our first 40s until October 18th and in 2020 September 19th. So you get the feel. They kind of bounce back and forth. We've had one as early as the 25th. This is Temperatures in the 40s, but the latest, the record for the last, the latest we've had 40s was on October 20th. Now I bring that up. That's of course in Philadelphia, but I want to show you something here. This is what it is in the Pocono. Same kind of a pattern. We're at 67 degrees tomorrow and Sunday. Monday, you have that weather maker in the morning, then we dry out. Look at the highs in the Poconos on Thursday. 54 for the high, which means we are very easily this week for you folks, certainly in the mountainous areas and some of our western zones seeing our first temperatures in the 30s and quite possibly up in the higher elevations, maybe the first frost or the first freeze. Other than that, man, it's looking like a great weekend. Enjoy. Over to you, Seattle.